Entrepreneurship is not limited to China's cities. The women in China's remote areas are working hard to start their own businesses. Today, we're kicking off our three-part special series, The E-Women, Weaving for a Better Future, about women of the E-ethnic minority in southwestern China's Yunnan province. Embroidery and handicraft products are helping them gain incomes. Our reporter Martina Fuchs traveled to the faraway villages and filed this report. A four-hour drive from Kunming, the capital of Yunnan province, passing rice-terraced mountains, until we reach Dayao County in Chuxiang Yi Autonomous Prefecture. It's here where the women of the Yi ethnic minority are trying to keep their traditions alive, and where female entrepreneurship is springing up at the grassroots level. Luo Tun's cooperative designs embroidery such as dresses, bags, earrings, hairpins, home furnishings or headwear with unique e-ethnic flavor. She has managed to mobilize a large number of women to come work in the embroidery industry. Our cooperative was established in 2011. There were only 36 staff. Thanks to the support from the Women's Federation and the United Nations Development Program, we now have 800 members from more than 10 townships across the county. In 2014, Mi Lu achieved an annual production value of more than 6 million renminbi, or almost 1 million U.S. dollars. Embroidery associations like this one here help improve minority women's livelihoods. The annual production can reach up to 200,000 pieces and the products are sold to far away Shanghai, Italy or France. Next door, at the workshop, the women say embroidery has helped them increase their monthly average income by 1,100 yuan or 177 US dollars. In the past, our embroidery works were only for self-use. Now the cooperative helps us sell our works, and our living conditions have improved a lot. This has not only given them a bigger say in the household and with their husbands, but also led to their emancipation in society. We will also work with the government to push for more talent training by launching embroidery classes in schools, so as to carry forward this traditional art. Yunnan is one of the less developed provinces in China. According to the United Nations Development Program, around 18.3 million people live in urban areas and 28.3 million on the countryside. 2014 GDP per capita reached slightly above 27,000 renminbi, while the average per capita disposable income of urban residents stood at 24,299 renminbi, and that of rural residents at 7,456. The Yunnan Women's Federation says this bottom-up approach will eventually help alleviate poverty. It has strengthened the competitiveness of e-embroidery products and improved the livelihoods of these women and their families, as well as their social status. From the far away capital Beijing, U.S. skincare and cosmetics company Mary Kay is supporting the project. Three years ago, they were too shy to look straight at strangers, but now they proudly present their business plan with PowerPoint. Poverty alleviation is not just giving people money. When you give people money, they will use it up and stay poor. But if you help them to develop the ability to make money, they will be independent with self-esteem. The challenge now is how to turn these colorful handicraft products into more valuable capital for development. Martina Fox, CCTV News, in Chuxiang Yi Autonomous Prefecture in Yunnan Province.